We're back on the Cowboy Basketball Roundup. Time now for our orange and Blackwell piece. You know, Michael Cobbins is a man of many talents. He's one of the all-time great shot blockers at Oklahoma State, and he's also a very good cook. But more than anything, what may trump all of that is Michael Cobbins' great attitude and positive approach. Here's Lauren Blackwell with Michael Cobbins in our Orange and Blackwell segment. Three minutes into the game against Robert Morris last December, Michael Cobbins' season changed entirely. I kind of felt like I was getting lost in the game a little bit. Uh, the game was going good, and then out of nowhere, it just felt like something hit me in the back of the leg. He didn't know it at the time, but the pain that Cobbins felt was a torn Achilles tendon. Fell, stood up, and it felt like I was like, walking on an incline, like a downward incline. I kept saying something's in my shoe, and Mark was like, no, there's nothing in your shoe. So I walked off the court, and I told Jamin what it felt like, and he told me to go back to the uh, training room. And at that point, I kind of knew something wasn't right. Cobbins faced injuries in the past, but this one that ended his season came five days before the number six ranked Cowboys would begin a tough conference schedule on the road. I was going to miss that. The guys weren't going to have me out there, so I was kind of down on myself, but then uh, my family and my teammates and training and coaching staff that kind of got around me and supported me and helped me. And in return, Cobbins spent the season on the sideline, contributing as much as he could vocally and mentally. My leadership role in the team still hadn't changed except the fact that I wasn't going to be on the court. So I still had to talk to the guys as if I was out there and help them see things that we normally don't see on the court that coaches and spectators see. He even took to Twitter last season to thank his fans and supporters and said with a hashtag that this was just a test. A test 12 months later, he passed with flying colors. Seeing how bad I wanted it, uh, you know, my rehab was, how quick I came back was completely up to me, uh, how hard I pushed myself in rehab, and uh, really a test that basketball was really something that I wanted to do. It was, it was pretty intense. You know, uh, there were some days where I fatigue out real quick, but uh, my training was great, and he helped me get through those days. Robin says he is now 100% recovered and back on the court. Mentally leaving the injury in the past, he leads the team in blocks and is averaging over six rebounds per game. Well, Coach Michael Cobbins uh, obviously missed all of conference season in the postseason last year with the Achilles injury. And, and, and just sort of your thoughts on his recovery and how he's bounced back. Well, he's worked uh, extremely hard to come back. You know, that's a, a tough injury. Uh, he's fully healed now, which is great, 100% healed. Biggest thing for him is continue to gain confidence, uh, you know, to know that he's okay and play all out. And he's still gaining that. I think every day we see him get a little bit better. But he's worked so hard to come back and enjoy this senior year. Is he one of the more savvy post players that maybe you've coached? He is. He's one of the, as far as a guy that understands the game and everything that we want, he's right on target. He knows how to do scout report. He knows our system. He knows how to guard every screen. Uh, he's been such a great leader. We saw that last year when we lost him. You realize what, how many little tangible things he does on the court uh, to help your team become better. Just a great, great person. I mean, always in a good mood. One of the most enjoyable people I've ever been around. Uh, he's going to be successful in whatever he does. You know, it's funny. I think of, of his intelligence. And one play jumps out at Kansas, the game you won in Lawrence in the Allen Fieldhouse two years ago. You told the team all week, first play would be an alley-oop to the center, and he jumped right in front of it. You remember that play and, and intercepted and it and set the, the tone it, for the game? It set the whole tone. He does that a lot. He, he's, he's so smart, such a smart basketball player. Uh, really takes scout, report, uh, scout reports to heart. Uh, and he's a great leader to all these younger kids on our basketball team on how to do it and do it right. Stay with us. Coach Ford and I are back to wrap things up on the Cowboy Basketball Roundup. 